Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lovecraftian video game retrospective and welcome to Vably Pixels, a hardcore platformer for the PC. In this game we take the role of a little girl who touched a Lovecraftian book and thus got turned into a little girl who can jump really high and now has terrifying claw hands. And there's really much of a story here, you're the girl, you're jumping through levels you kill monsters and that's pretty much it. So this game combines elements of a hardcore platformer as I already said and it also has combos so it's a little bit like a beating up in that regard. And with regard to art style this game looks really really good. It has this pixel style and it looks a lot better than a lot of other pixel games which pretty much only have low res graphics. This one here actually nails it quite well and the backgrounds also look really really good. With regard to level design yeah, I have some issues with this game, to be honest. I know it's it's really difficult and I found it to be very frustrating, but that's not really the problem. The main problem is that this game doesn't really have all the best level design, mainly because there's only one way to get through all the levels, so it doesn't really give you any different path. There's one way to go through it, one optimal way with all the power-ups and stuff, and apart from that there's not much you can do through this level. It also means that the replay value is limited unless you play through the game and do something like a no damage run or maybe a run on a higher difficulty. Uh, this game's soundtrack is actually pretty good, but I found it to be a little bit repetitive at times, but it's, it is pretty solid so that's not much of a point for me. Another point I didn't really like were the controls, so this game offers you to use a keyboard or a gamepad and you only have two buttons, well apart from your d-pad, so you have the attack button and you have the jump button. The attack button does everything, it does a dash attack, it does a kick, a high kick and it does your claw attack and the problem with that is that the game doesn't always register those inputs correctly and that can be quite frustrating and it's also pretty superfluous because every standard gamepad has multiple buttons and so does the keyboard obviously so there was no real reason to limit this to one button and if I compare this to let's say Super Meat Boy which is also a hardcore platformer then I find the controls to be not as tight as they should be and that can be a little bit frustrating and that also goes for a couple of other elements. For example, the game doesn't always register right whether you want to jump off a wall or whether you want to make a double jump or whether you actually want to stick to a wall. You can wall jump in this game and occasionally the game just doesn't let you wall jump for no real reason and I didn't really find out why. So do I give this game a recommendation? I give it a limited recommendation, you definitely have to like hardcore platformers if you want to play this game, otherwise it would be just too frustrating. And as for the Lovecraftian elements, of course they are a little bit more flashy in this game, so don't expect to be exactly spooked out, but they are still pretty well done and for what the game tries to be, a hardcore action platformer, they actually fit quite well. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time, take care and goodbye.